Wow! Wow! Hello everybody! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Marisa. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I'm doing a new reaction video for a band that I really love. Their name is Armstrong and they have a new song out called Home Street Bleeding. So I did a reaction for the song they did before this one. It's called Bear. You can go check it out up here or I'll drop the link in the description so you can check it out after you watch this video. So to dive into this, the new song's name is Home Street Bleeding and the reason I'm so excited for this is because Bear, the one that preceded this, is a really great song and it's a really emotional song and it's one of those songs that are just hit you in the gut. Um, I absolutely loved, loved that song and I'm really curious to see what they did with Home Street Bleeding. From the name I can deduct that this is probably something that's going to be in the same vein as Bear, maybe, perhaps, or perhaps not. So let's find out, uh, let's give it a listen. This is Home Street Bleeding by Armstrong. I was not expecting this. Full on percussion. Hey. Mm, loving the vocals. Love the guitar. Wow. 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 What a chorus. This is like rock at its best. I'm loving like the muffled sound the, vo the vocals have here. Oh, and we're bringing it back up. I'm loving the rhythm of the song. It's it's catchy, but it's kind of it brings home the sense of frustration. I mean, listen to that. Percussion is so good. That's a piano in the back. If I'm not mistaken. Wow. I can't get over this chorus. It's Mind blowing. Wow. Hey, I love that high they put in there. It's, it's, it's not a trumpet. They actually put a trumpet in here. And they're leaving us with that. With that freaking trumpet. Oh my word, you guys. I was not expecting that. The song is so full of surprises. Oh my goodness. Let's start off with the percussion that just jumped in there from the start. Full blown percussion. I was not expecting that. I really wasn't. Um, not a lot of songs do that. <laughs> not a lot of songs that, I've, that I listen to regularly anyway. That was such a lovely surprise. That got me hooked instantly. I love how they use the guitar in there. And I did hear piano in there. I 
did hear piano in there, which I really like because not a lot of rock songs use piano. And if I dreamed the piano, I'm sorry, but I swear I heard it. Did you guys hear it? Oh, uh, and the trumpet at the end. I was not expecting the trumpet to. I mean, what even? That was like, that was like the most brilliant part for me about this entire song was that trumpet at the end. Oh my goodness. Um, this song is. is Kind of tricky you know because it starts off and you're like this is a this is actually it's it sounds like a really anthemic rock song you know it sounds like the kind of song for me like i can already literally hear people singing this uh in an arena singing it back to them then when you listen to the lyrics you realize that the song is about being frustrated and being stuck feeling stuck and trying to get out of it um I think we can all relate to that. At least that's what that's what I got out of the song. Um, and it was so brilliantly done. I mean, with that message in mind and with that theme in mind, the percussion and everything they did uh, with the music itself was actually so brilliantly done to bring that message home. For me, at least. Obviously, everybody's going to get something else out of it. But that was really brilliant. I um, mean, I like that, that the, the melody deceives you a bit. Uh, at the beginning thinking that this is a jumping up and down song that's just you know a fun song that's happy uh, and in the meantime it sounds kind of happy but actually it has like kind of a darker message underneath you not dark but you know a more sad message of like being frustrated and wow everything just worked together so beautifully to bring that home um, but also I think the reason it sounds kind of happy and it tricks into doing that is because there's so much hope in the song as well. There's this frustration, but there's that hope as well. And the trumpet at the end is really like, if I had to name and give an instrument in the song the name of hope, um, the trumpet would be it. Um, so it ends kind of on this note of everything's going to be okay anyway, you know? And I absolutely love that because <laughs> it just, you go through the process of the song, I'm feeling the frustration and then at the end it's like, but you know what, everything's gonna be okay in the end. And I love songs that leave me with that, you know, because we all we all need that sometimes. This is why I love them so much. The lyrics are the kind of lyrics that you need to listen to a few times to really like get the message and really um, it's like one of those paintings that you hang on, on your wall and then every day when you look at it you see something different. That's what Armstrong's songs sound like to me. Um, I can listen to it over and over again and I hear something new every time and that's one of the reasons I love them. This song is one that's definitely something you can put on when you're just feeling like you need a boost in life and you need a bit of hope and just to know that you're not alone in your struggles. Oh, I love this band. I hope you guys liked this song as much as I did. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Like, what was the message that you got from it personally? Because for all of us, it would probably be different. So what did this song say to you? Let me know in the comments. I'm really excited to hear uh, what it meant to you guys. And go check out Armstrong on Spotify, on YouTube, and anywhere else where you listen to your music. And give them a follow on social. They're doing some really cool stuff. Um, I can't wait to see what they do next. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, let's talk in the comments. I'll see all of you right back here next time.